Okay, for any of you that are trying to press truss plates on your own without a hydraulic press, uh, we kind of came up with a makeshift deal here. So what I did is I went down to the local trailer shop and I had them weld me up this half inch plate. This is 10 inches by 12 inches. If I was to do it again, I'd make it 12 by 12. We're finding out we need a little more room here for our pitch. But uh, we reinforced it up top here so there'd be no warping when we go ahead and uh, impact it. So what we've done, then we built this table. We dropped one of these down inside the table. And then this gives us rails to jig against whatever our pitch is we're gonna do. So we can now jig against here. We've got one in here with our bolts. And uh, what we did is we put uh, the right amount of bolts and washers to space this at about just shy of an inch and a half. So when we, when we put this together, we got one plate under there already. We're gonna put another plate up top here. Then we're gonna put this on top. And then, uh, go ahead, Phil, get those. And then, uh, then quite honestly, all we're going to do is take a simple impact wrench, and we're just going to impact these and compress these together to press those plates into our truss. So, we're going to cross the pattern. Kind of back and forth. Phil, if you'll give me a gauge. is we're tired of waiting five weeks on the trust plant. We built sheds and portable buildings. This gives us the ability to do it on our own schedule. When the job comes in, we want to, we want to be able to uh, jump right on it. Good? Keep going. That's it? That's it. Okay. Back them out. Pull that off. We put a little block in there. Support that. There's our truss. Pressed. All right. Thanks, Phil. So for whatever it's worth, that's one way that you might be able to press these plates in uh, and build some of your own uh, presses to uh, use with this impact. Okay, hope that helps.